Alright, yeah. See you uh -huh. Does it go all the way in? Move on this right here. That was it. Hey guys, what's up? It's Mac. So it's been at least six months since I've uploaded a YouTube video. I'm gonna make updates to kind of tell you what's been going on for those six months. Uh, to give you an overview, a lot of it has been acting, traveling, medical issues, fun stuff. Anyways, on February 10th of 2020, I turned three years on testosterone. Is that how you would say it? I, I turned three? Three? I turned three. Three T-boy years. I don't... I'm three years on testosterone. Hi. So over the past three years, there's been a lot of, you know, nitty gritty things as I've been going through this second amazing puberty. The majority of my changes from testosterone happened in the first year. And during my first year on testosterone, I made monthly updates. So if you are new to my channel, perhaps, or if you're new to testosterone and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm eight months on testosterone. What's going to happen to me on month eight? Um, maybe you can watch my eight months on testosterone video and perhaps everyone's different. Everyone's body happens at different times, but perhaps what happened for me at month eight happened for you at month eight. <laughs> Anyways, there are new things though that have happened in the past year, so I'm gonna give you some updates. Let's go. There's a couple of big things that I'm gonna save for a couple minutes, but a couple of the, you know, minor things that have continued happening, that have been happening the whole time I've been on testosterone are mostly uh, the hair. It's coronavirus times and I haven't shaved in uh, approximately maybe a week. My body hair, especially on my torso, has gotten a little bit more lush. My hairline, I kind of like put my hair like this because I'm kind of embarrassed by my hairline. Um, I feel like it's uh, receding more and I don't, I'm, I'm not about that life. Uh, not about that life at all. Um, the, the hair loss, potential hair loss could also be related to a hospital stay that I had in October, which I'll make a whole video about if you didn't see any, I posted like one Instagram post about it, but it was super dramatic. I almost died, like legit. My voice has pretty much stayed the same. Um, I don't think it's dropped, but I will put a voice comparison at the end of this video. One thing that I have noticed about my voice is I think it's gotten uh, a little bit more masculine. Um, I had have uh, been told in the past, and I am self-aware of the fact that I, I tend to have very feminine inflections in my voice, and I, it's, it's kind of like, you know, hey! My acne has been, a, I think, better than previous years. It's a little bit flared up right now, the acne, uh, because, you know, during quarantine, <laughs> I've been eating, stress eating, a lot of, like, chocolate and, like, cookies and stuff. So the main thing that's changed about my whole testosterone component of life is I started seeing this new doctor uh, to prescribe me testosterone, and she's actually a general practitioner, but she's the head of the trans clinic at the hospital uh, that you know, I am close to. So she ordered blood work to be done uh, to check my testosterone levels. Um, I was also getting all these other levels checked because uh, hospital times from October. <laughs> testosterone, like, r normal ranges are pretty wide. Um, and I was kind of like dead center, so testosterone levels were normal. My blood count, I really don't know what that means, but she said my blood count was high and she thinks that could be attributed to my testosterone dose. I had been taking 140 milligrams, 0.7 cc's of testosterone every other week. So like 
I would skip a week in between. She wanted me to do a smaller dose every week. She thought that like doing a small dose every week would just be better for my, you know, levels. In my appointment, she said, wow, your blood pressure is really high. Um, it's not normal. You, you have the blood pressure of like a really, really stressed out old man. Like this is bad. So she was like, if we don't get this under control, like you're gonna have to go on a blood pressure medication, which is wild. So she was thinking that that could maybe be a result of the testosterone dose. Like even though it was saying I was in the normal range, for me, like it might've been affecting my stress level too much. So anyways, since I have uh, switched to the weekly injections of the lower dose of testosterone, uh, my blood pressure has been much better. Um, it, it, I feel less stressed out. Okay, and now I say this every single testosterone update, but what I have always wanted from testosterone was popping arm veins which I don't have. Not even buff people have popping arm veins and that's what I wanted and I just have accepted after three years that it, it's just not in my genetics, you know? I did take this picture though the other day um, and I, I, look at this popping arm vein. Like I'm thinking maybe in some sort of lighting with some sort of flex, I maybe now have gained a popping arm vein. You tell me. I also have been whining about for the past three years wanting an Adam's apple. I don't have it and I'm pissed. I guess it's not in my jeans either. I don't think that my dad or my brother really have like noticeable Adam's apples. So I guess it's another jean thing I got screwed on. Thanks parents. It's fine. I'm kidding. I love you guys. Now I'm going to show you some comparison uh, photos of my face and body. Uh, you know, from pre-testosterone all the way brrr, to three years on testosterone, as well as a voice comparison pre-testosterone to three years on testosterone. Hi, my name is Mac, and this is my voice pre-testosterone. And this is my voice two weeks on testosterone. And this is my voice one month on testosterone. And this is my voice two months on testosterone. And this is my voice three months on testosterone. And this is my voice four months on testosterone. And this is my voice five months on testosterone. And this is my voice six months on testosterone. And this is my voice seven months on testosterone. And this is my voice eight months on testosterone. And this is my voice nine months on testosterone. And this is my voice ten months on testosterone. And this is my voice eleven months on testosterone. And this is my voice one year on testosterone. And this is my voice a year and a half on testosterone. And this is my voice two years on testosterone. And this is my voice three years on testosterone. I say it every time. Um, I have, you know, absolutely no regrets going on testosterone. This was absolutely the right life-saving decision that I made. Hormone replacement therapy is, you know, not for everyone. A lot of people don't want to go on hormones and that's totally fine and you're still totally valid. You are you. Testosterone for me uh, was absolutely necessary and I love it. So, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and comment down below, share this video on my channel with your friends, and if you haven't followed me on social media, what are you doing? The links are in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.